What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and we've got a great one for you today. We've got a brand new release of the virtual display driver with its own installer, and drum roll please. We are officially signed by SignPath. So now no more installing custom uh, certificates or anything like that. We are officially signed by SignPath, so you can install it on all of your Windows based systems, and the install will go super quick. So how do you install the new driver? All you're gonna do is head over to releases, and you'll see that there's a new uh, holiday update with the brand new installer. So all we're gonna do is scroll down here. You can see that there's a new global refresh rate option. So you can add a refresh rate once and it'll apply to all of the resolutions in the uh, configuration file. We've got a ton of fixes as well as not only an installer, but we have a companion app that runs in the tray and helps you control the driver while you're using it, which is super, super useful. I'll show you how that works in just a second. So we're gonna scroll down and head over to assets. We're gonna download the x64 bit version. This is gonna be the version that uh, most of you are going to wanna install. Uh, if you are in an ARM64 build of Windows, you will need the ARM64 version. Uh, this should work for all versions except for 24H2 where you may need to disable driver signing. If you want the old version of the install with just the signed driver and uh, none of the added installer files and stuff like that, you just want the uh, manual installation, you can use this as well and just download that directly. But I'm gonna go ahead and download the installer so you can see how that works. When we click on the installer, we're gonna go ahead and uh, allow this through by choosing run anyway. And you'll see that now we have a license agreement that you can accept. So we'll accept the GNU license, we'll accept the uh, MIT license from Nefarious, and we'll accept the MIT license from the MTT driver, the virtual display driver. Um, here we can choose your primary GPU, so you can actually choose which graphics card you'd like to use for the driver. Uh, and then we'll click on next. We can choose how many displays we'd like to uh, install. You can choose however many displays you'd like, but uh, a maximum of four is recommended. And then you can choose the destination location. Where would you like to install your driver before it had to be in the C drive? Now you can actually browse and place it wherever you'd like it to be installed. So uh, if I want it on my desktop instead, for some reason, I can choose the desktop, make a new folder called virtual display driver and place it there. Now we're gonna click on next. And here's where you can select the components you'd like to install. You can choose to install just the driver itself. You can install the companion app as well. And you can install modules for uh, various community scripts that can be run, such as uh, toggling the display on and off or rotating the virtual display via command line. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose next to install these. And this is the uh, start menu folder. So it will start when your computer starts up. We'll choose next and install. You'll see that the installation is finished. We now have a virtual display driver folder on the desktop um, and we have the launch companion app selected. So we'll click finish. And then in the bottom right, you'll now see a companion app, which if we right click, you can choose to view the status of your driver. We can see that it's green, so it's on. If it's yellow or red, it means it's either uh, running but disabled or off, or there's an error or something that's uh, causing it to be off. If we right click on that, we have quite a few different options we can choose from including uh, update notifications to find out when a new driver is out, as well as configuring it, such as enabling 12-bit uh, HDR, 10-bit SDR, and things like that. But yeah, if we right click on the desktop and choose display settings, you'll see now we have our fourth virtual display here, complete with HDR support. But yeah, that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect.